Okay. Now, come here, ball builder. Now, yeah, I like that waltz. Stay, stay with that waltz. Stay, stay, keep us with that waltz. All right. Now, you called me over there, and you said, these people need to do a Jericho march. If you're not a holy roller, you may not know what a Jericho march is. So let me tell you what it is. When they marched around Jericho for seven days and kept silent, Joshua had a word of the Lord. But on the seventh day, on the seventh time around, they shouted. And when they shouted, supernaturally God moved. Did you know that the weapons of your warfare are not natural? They didn't take a big old those walls down, or one of those cannonball, catapult things, whatever they had back in those days, but you know what they did? They heard the word from the Lord, and they obeyed God, they understood that the battle is not ours, the battle is the Lord's, and they obeyed the word of the Lord, and what happened is supernaturally things began to happen in the spirit that they began to see in the natural But when they obeyed God, the walls came crashing down, and God gave them the city. Is that right? So everybody that's brave enough and has enough holy roller in them, just step out of your seat. We've never done one here. And start marching around. Just march right around. And say, we'll go. Okay, Laura, we'll go counter.
and two services. So right now, I thank you, God, for these chairs that that church this morning gave us, sewed into us, took right out of their sanctuary and put it right into ours. The 11 years that they've had these chairs and people have cried on them, gotten saved, knelt at them, healed in them. I ask you, God, that you will fill these chairs, 85 chairs, fill them, fill this place to capacity.